Today, ladies and gents, on your little adventure with me, I'm going to tell you lots of little different facts about Scotland and some history as well. The key points in history. Has anybody seen the film Braveheart? Yeah. Pop your hands up if you've seen Braveheart. Mel Gibson as William Wallace. Okay, so some of you, but not all of you. Don't worry if you've not seen it. I will be giving spoilers for you. <laughs> and then you'll want to see it. So we'll be touching on, well, I've been telling you about these Scottish Wars of Independence, and that's very appropriate as later on you will be going in to visit Stirling Castle. Has anybody seen the new film, Mary, Queen of Scots? If you haven't, please do not watch it. It is terrible. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's so wrong, it's unreal. Terrible film. So if you have seen it, everything you watched, nonsense. Right, don't believe it. Off to the left, ladies and gentlemen, you will see a small stadium behind those apartments. That's Heart of Midlothian Football Club, or Soccer Club. There are two football clubs in Edinburgh, Heart of Midlothian, which is the oldest one, and Hibernian, which is on the other side of the city. And when there's a derby between the two teams, let's just say it's an interesting night in the town. Off to the right is a much better and much bigger stadium, BT Murrayfield. Any rugby fans on board? Rugby? No? Murrayfield is home to our national rugby team, Scotland. Woohoo! Love it. The stadium there is the largest one in Scotland, 67,500 capacity. Now, as well as the rugby matches, it also hosts concerts and events. So, two years ago, the Rolling Stones played at Murrayfield. Rock on. But then in June this year, I think it was June, the beginning of the summer, another group played in Murrayfield. 67,500 capacity. Yeah. And I cannot believe that this group sold them out. The Spice Girls, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to be my lover, Oh, it drives me insane. But they sold out Murrayfield. I think the average age was between 30 to 40 years old, reliving their youth in the 90s. <laughs> any Spice Girls fans on board? Let's see if we've got any confession. Today.